In this video, I'm going to show you how to run tests for equal variance and Walter de Nova. Now, the tests for equal variance uh, I'm going to cover are the Bartlett's test and the Levine's test. Now, uh, for the Bartlett's test, we are going to be using a data set called Delivery Times. Now, you can find this data set in the sample data folder in the Sigma Excel installation directory. Now, the Bartlett's test is similar to the two sample F test, but allows for multiple group comparisons of variances or standard deviations. Like the F test, Bartlett's requires that the data from each group be normally distributed, but is more powerful than Levine's test. Now, once you have the delivery times uh, data set open, click on Statistical Tools, scroll down to Equal Variance Tests, and select Bartlett. Now, for your numeric data variable, select Delivery Time Deviation. And for your group category, select Floor, and click OK. And you'll see the results of the Bartlett's uh, test are produced. And with a p-value of 0.63, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. We don't have the evidence to show that the group variances are unequal. So practically speaking, we will assume that the variances are equal. Now, all 10 Anderson-Darling p-values are greater than 0.05, indicating that all group data are normal. Since the assumption of normality is met, Bartlett's is the appropriate test to use. Now, if any one of the groups have a low p-value for the normality test, then Levine's test should be used. Now, for the Levine's test, we're going to use a different data set. We're going to use the customer data workbook, and it's available in the same folder as the delivery times data set. Now, once you have customer data open, click on statistical tools, equal variance tests, and select Levine. Now, for our numeric data variable, we are going to select responsive to calls. And for the group category, select customer type and click OK. And the result of the Levine's test uh, for equal variance are produced. Now, the Levine's test p-value of uh, 0.0144 tells us that we reject the null hypothesis. At least one pairwise set of variances are not equal. The normality test p-values indicate that all three groups have non-normal data with p-values of less than 0.05. So since Levine's test is robust to the assumption of normality, it is the correct test for equal variances rather than the Bartlett's test. Now that we have determined that the variances are not equal, we are presented with a problem if we want to apply a classical one-way ANOVA test for equal group means. ANOVA assumes that the group variances are equal. A modified ANOVA called Welch's ANOVA can be used as an alternative here. Now, Welch's ANOVA is a test for multiple comparison of means. It is a modified one-way ANOVA that is robust to the assumption of equal variances. Welch's ANOVA is an extension of the two-sample t-test for means, assuming unequal variance. Non-parametric methods could also be used here, but they are not as powerful as Welch's ANOVA. Now, to run Welch's ANOVA, uh, click on Sheet 1 of your customer data workbook, select Statistical Tools, Equal Variance Tests, Welch's ANOVA. Now, for your uh, numeric data variable Y, we're going to select response to the calls, for group category, customer type, and click OK. And the Welch's ANOVA is produced, and the p-value for Welch's ANOVA is 0 0.0135. Now, therefore, we reject uh, the null hypothesis and conclude that the group means for responsive to calls are not equal. Uh, in later videos, we will explore the relationship between overall satisfaction and responsive to calls.